The Scottish Universities Act of 1889 led to the drawing up of regulations for the graduation of women and for their instruction in Scottish universities. This commenced in 1892 and the first female students graduated from the University of Edinburgh in 1893. Three years later, the first female medical students would graduate with MBCM from the University of Edinburgh. Alexander Mary Campbell Geddes and Jesse McLean McGregor. Geddes, who is better known as Mona Chalmers Watson, had begun her medical education at the Edinburgh College of Medicine for Women and would go on to gain an MD in 1898, becoming the first woman to receive an MD from the University of Edinburgh. The same day as graduating with her MD, she married Dr. Douglas Chambers Watson. She had delayed marrying him until she could write MD after her name. When the First World War arrived, women were mostly involved in nursing or munitions. Some volunteered with the all-female first aid nursing yeomanry, working soup kitchens or driving ambulances. The yeomanry was named as its members were, at its inception in 1907, mounted on horseback to reach wounded soldiers. This was not a part of the military. Chambers Watson saw the need to create a corps of women to provide ancillary support. This would also free up more men to fight on the front line. In July 1917, after proposing the call to the military, Chambers Watson became Chief Controller of the Women's Army Auxiliary Corps. More than 57,000 women served in the Corps over its lifetime from 1917 to 1921 and served as the first time that women, aside from nurses, were part of the British Army. Open to enemy attack, 81 members of the WAAC were killed in action. Chambers Watson's work was vital to opening the opportunity for women to be involved with the military. The WAAC also laid the groundwork for the Auxiliary Territorial Service in World War II.